Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we've got a special guest with us and that is Jake from Trend Spider. He's got an example of the raindrop patterns that he developed on his new platform and I'm going to hand this straight over to Jake right now and let him go ahead and go on through with it. There you go, Jake. Well, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I just want to make a personally did not invent them. Our CTO and uh, co-founder Russ uh, Russ Land invented them. So uh, it's something that kind of came up randomly. It's uh, it, a little less than a year ago. He just kind of and showed us this and we we're like what is this and uh, we got some feedback and decided to move forward with it and um, essentially what a raindrop is volume weighted show you how the volume is flowing throughout a particular period so um, in this particular we can see that we have a green raindrop here and so you know why is it green what does this mean you know didn't mean to make that rhyme but uh, <laughs> uh you know essentially you've got instead of an open and a close you've got this bar here and you've got this bar here this bar each one of these bars represents the for the first half of the period which is this uh this side you app for the second half of the period which is this side on top of this uh, bar, you can see that the volume profile for each half of the period is on the price range. So you can see here, you know, this this action right here, all of this volume for this particular, let's say this is the daily candle. We can see that during the first half of the day, most of the volume was focused near the bottom of the price range. We went into the second half of the day, most of that volume started to flow to the upside, started to create new highs here for the period. And we know that because there's no volume profile on this side. That all of that volume for this particular pushing the price higher here. And we can see that because, you know, this is the high, this is the low. Um, same thing on that end for uh, the typical candle. But what's really different is the ability to see the VWAP rather than the open and close. So you're really taking into account more the supply and demand, the equilibrium price, and really how the volume is flowing um, through a particular period, whether that's the 10 minute candle, the 30 minute, the one day. Right now we have the ability to show 10 minute day candles or periods of time, and, but that will be changing up to weekly and monthly as well. Uh, you can definitely get a ton of information about this. Um, or as far as price action goes for a particular price, uh, excuse me, a time frame, a bullish raindrop, neutral raindrop, and then your bearish raindrop. As we mentioned before, the VWAP, when it's uh, the second half of the period's VWAP is higher than the first, that's when it's green. When the close is higher than the open, that's green, like a uh, for a hollow candle. Um, the price doesn't necessarily have to be higher. The closing price doesn't need to be higher than the previous period. The color is more of a function of half in the first half of the, the VWAP. Um, neutral raindrop is when essentially the VWAP for the first half of the period. Cool. So it's what we call kind of a true doji or volume weighted doji. Um, and then you've got your bearish raindrop, which, which is just the opposite of your green. Um, and that's when the VWAP for the second half of the period half. During the first half of the period, most of the volume was focused near the top of the price range here for this particular. And then as we got into the second half of the day, you can see the volume starting to pick up and actually pushing price to new lows here. And we know the price was uh, pushed to new lows because there's no volume profile for uh, here for the first half of the day. So it's kind of you can see the volume flipping over to uh, to lower lows here um, during this period. So it's definitely a new way of looking at the chart. Really cool is using the blue raindrop, which I'll go into an example here shortly. And uh, and also using what we call the balloon raindrop. And this is um, something that. Uh, I kind of was doing a little research on and um, uh, that there was some some interesting um, moves there with the balloon. Uh, so the first one is the blue raindrop. And so you'll see here, 
And Amazon's a really good example. And one thing I want to mention um, up front, since these are volume-based candles, to be able to utilize these more on a high liquidity stock, so a stock that's got a lot of volume, it's not a thin spread. Um, so you can really see how the volume is flowing a lot better in these stocks than like these thinly traded stocks. So um, Amazon's a great example of this. And so um, what you can do here with the blue raindrop, you can see strategy tester here, and we'll just do um, the daily raindrop. Our entry condition will simply just be a blue raindrop here, or a raindrop doji is what we call it. And let's see how it performs after 10 candles. That, and you'll see here that uh, there's some pretty big variation in price. Um, you know, um, com uh, you know, common stock having a pretty, uh, especially for Amazon, a big move in common stock for Amazon happens a lot. But you know, being able to kind of see when that's going to happen, in this case, paint these areas on the chart. This is our entry because this is a blue candle. And our exit is solely a function of, remember we had our entry, our exit as the 10 candles, 10 candles, we had a blue raindrop, 3% move. Nice. Raindrop, and we've got a 2.86% move to the downside. So the blue raindrop is not necessarily, um, you know, telling you the directional move sometimes telling you that there's going to be some type of volatility coming in the next five to ten whether that is the daily the 10 minute whatever you're on oh so, you know that can be useful for people who are doing options plays who are doing a strangle or a straddle where you're not necessarily having to bet on the direction of the volatility or just to be volatility as you can see the mean trade return is 1.28 percent huge moves here so you know you've got your blue raindrop within 10 candles you have a two percent move up and that's that's here you know this wasn't the max gain gain the max drawdown those types of statistics you just go to download csv and you can get those statistics as well um so what was the max gain uh since the entry the max drawdown the max you know down before the move up those types of uh, statistics and we will be adding more statistics uh, as well but for now, you'll see that, you know, these can be very random. In this case, we had the blue raindrop, huge move up. In this case, this was 6%, but you can see we topped out probably closer to like 8% here. You know, in this case, for Amazon, you'll see that the predictability as far as the direction, only more, vol you know, only more of a kind of volatility measure. Examples such as XLF be able to have the direction of the of the move in this case you'll see drops formed within a very price range so this is a falling wedge you can see the blue raindrop formed on the top of the falling wedge here at resistance pulled back formed at the bottom of the support area and you had to move up you're in a very tight range these can be a little more predictable as far as which way they may go that's that's case by case um, you know each each ETF stock is going to have its own way of moving with these similar to the MACD or any other one indicator may work really well on one stock and may not show you anything on the next the um, that I've found have moved very well with blue raindrops are like United Healthcare. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but uh, over the last year, you know, you go and back test this, and you'll see that um, you know, you got your blue raindrop, 10% move down within 10 days. Blue raindrop, 6% move up within 10 days. Then you've got your blue raindrop here that you can also measure here. Blue raindrop. And drop here in a four percent move up in ten days. So um, there are specific stocks that really work well, and those generally are the stocks that have a lot of liquidity, a lot of volume. The last thing I want to talk about is the ability to kind of look and see these discrepancies, if you will. So what you can do here is 
card for SPY right now, simply the, just the one that I drew and what I'm looking for. Um, but what's interesting here is when you can start comparing the raindrop handle. I split the chart again, pull up the daily here, we'll go to hollow candles, and you'll see here actually have a red candle. Action. Yep. Green candle for uh, the raindrops Friday's action. The discrepancy here. Um, and, you know, which way does it go on Monday? We'll see. I personally think, you know, the market's not looking fantastic. Interesting to see if this green raindrop on Friday indicates some type of, you know, short term on the horizon. To see, but this is something that I really like to use these for is looking, oh, there's a green raindrop, but a red, or there's a green candle, but a red raindrop. Those are things that I definitely take into account and consider. I use them. Um, they're still very new. Still a lot of uh, research to be done with them, but definitely um, some of the things that I like to look for. The last thing that I wanted to show quickly was the balloon raindrop. The, um, this this raindrop where the volume flow is very interesting. You can see that you know we've got this very tight range, this very tight channel, downward sloping channel. And then finally, when we break out of this channel, notice how this candle looks almost like a balloon. Um, you've got like, uh, if you will, like your string here, which shows the price action moving up, not on a lot of volume, a lot of volume here because it's pretty much flat. But we know that the price action broke out of this area through this red line. And then we had a lot of volume actually aggregating at the top of the price range here. And then we had our blast off the next day. So um, when you see these types of balloon raindrops forming in a channel, especially like um, even like a falling wedge or any type of channel resistance break, um, these are definitely interesting where you've got, you can see here that during the second half of um, the day for June 7th, all of the volume was focused during the second half of uh, this day. It was focused at the top of the, the range. There was no volume at the bottom. So we know buyers or, uh, you know, at least volume in which I would assume is buyers keeping the price up. Um, you know, we know that this volume was kind of consolidating here and buying at the top. There were no buyers at the bottom, uh, you know, 75% of this candle top of the 25% um, here. That's another candle I love to use. Um, you can kind of use this uh, same type of candle on any type of breakout really. So I know to use the horizontal lines and we finally have them here. So in this case, we can see that, you know, when we broke out of this range, previous resistance area, same type of candle where a lot of the volume is focused near the top of the range during the second half of the period. And then you've got your continuation up for a day or two. It's, it's very <clears throat> similar to any other candlestick formation you're using. You can see, you know, a hammer can be anywhere on the chart. Um, if you have the physical characteristics of a hammer, it's a hammer. But only certain spots on the chart does a hammer really have really statistical significance, if you will. And uh, it's the same with these balloons. You know, you can see there's a balloon right here as well after breaking out of this channel. It's, this is kind of our continuation balloon up before consolidating and then continuing up afterwards. That's how I have found uh, raindrops very useful, and I use them every day to just kind of see um, if there's any discrepancies in regular price versus uh, the regular candles. And, uh, it's been a good time uh, researching these, and um, you know we do have a free trial if you want to try these out. Uh, test them out, and um, you can do that by just going to trendspider.com and going to the pricing page and starting your free trial there. Yeah, I was noticing on that last green candle that you pointed out that I was thinking in my own mind, you know, I'm, I like candles a lot, that that looked to me like a consolidated period up on top, which was really forming a hammer for another breakout above. And as you let, as you mentioned throughout that that conversation there that that was exactly what i was thinking and i was talking about that green can that green balloon there that had that big heavy top on it so that's actually where the volume is kind of congesting 
would you say more or less? Yep, that's where the volume is focused. So in this case, so the, the you wider, can see. So the wider that, that, that balloon, the more congested it is, and it, would you say and then when it starts to shrink either way, that's where it starts to get less congested? Say it shows you where the volume is, you know, case we can see during the first half of the period focused um, in not just one specific area. We can see that there was, and during the first half of the day, the entire period, that a lot of that volume was focused very heavily at the top here. Yep. Um, yeah, no, it's it can be very powerful. Yep. Always should always be used with other indicators. I mean, uh, this is simply just a new way of looking at volume price action. It's it's these aren't buy or sell signals. Um, just definitely start looking for these types of balloon breakouts during a channel breakout, and uh, you know you could find some interesting stuff. But times where you had a balloon breakout and uh, then you had a failure. Um, CMG. Uh, last week did this um, kind of broke out here um, you know we had a pretty much a balloon breakout and then we had this pullback so it's not always going to continue up uh, this is a great example of that so um, you know it's just it's just a way to look at volume and uh, flowing throughout a particular period all right well i guess that more or less sums it up unless there's anything else you'd like to bring up about that and i'm going to try to compare these with some of my charts and this coming week and kind of uh, use it as a test study of myself actually just the fact that spy is showing this green this green raindrop on friday but we've got the red rain uh the red candle that's definitely something i'm watching into next week so so what is, what is it telling you, that maybe we're going to reverse upward unless there's no more tweets from Trump? Uh, yeah, well, to me, it's telling telling us that, you know, the, just based simply on the open versus the close and the previous period, we were they're showing us that, you know, into the second half of the period, uh, you know, this was very close to being a blue raindrop. So... Um, generally, when we see those blue raindrops, even on SPY, you've got a big move to the upside or the downside. So um, for me, it's telling telling us that, you know, <clears throat> today, a lot of that volume, you can see on the volume profile, was literally just to the first half of the period. So yeah. um, me, it's just telling me, you know, maybe uh, you know, volume uh, – of things was uh, catching a bit a little more than the price action and you know that could that could be something to watch into next week I really say we're gonna get a bounce but I do like to look for these discrepancies and yeah it's a, it was a I thought I had the call on Friday on the spy and I got in it thinking it was gonna rebound and it just kind of consolidated down at the bottom of that of that green candle right there it just we never did really break above where I wanted it to break. But to me, it felt like it was just finally found a little bottom there and was consolidating. So we're, we'll, Monday will be the, tr the true test. Definitely. So keep an eye on that. And I'll, I'll definitely post a spy chart in the chat room to see what we uh, find. All right. Well, thank you very much. We do appreciate you explaining a little bit of the, uh, of the balloon effect on on your new platform here and um, be able to learn a little bit more next week as I try to use it myself a little bit. So I just want to say thank you and, and have a great day out there. On and uh, if anyone has any questions, just reach out in the chat. Um, just better Jake. So questions. All right. This is I love stocks with trend spider with Jake and, have a great day.